Hello everyone, welcome to the practical series of security and computing. Today we'll be doing a configuration of AAA authentication and we'll use a particular topology and then see how to configure it. So for this part practical, we will be using this particular topology. We have a router, a single router and there are two networks. Uh, on the left side we have 192.168.1.0 on the right side we have 192.168.2.0 so this is the actually IP address of this particular uh, interface and this is of this interface so we have used a very simple topology uh, we don't need to set the routing path because uh, there is only one router if we had more than one router then we would need to have set the routing path either use RIP or static routing that we'll see in the next practical by the way we just have one router and there are two networks and here we see there are two host PCs uh, and uh, two servers. One is the TechX servers, other is the Radius server. So uh, we'll see how we will first uh, configure this on Cisco Packet Tracer. Now we do the configuration. First of all, we select the PCs. So we need two PCs. One PC is here. Then the second PC is here. Then we need a switch. So this is a switch, we need two switches, one here and then a uh, second switch is place it here. Then we need a server, so this is one server and this is another server. Then we need a router. So we date this 1941 router, we place it here. So next we do the connection and then we then we give the IP addresses. So for connection we have this solid wire, this one from fast Ethernet to any of this. Then from here also fast Ethernet to any of the terminals. Then from here uh, fast Ethernet see out of this two I do the zero zero connection a zero zero interface and then from here zero one to this particular switch and from this switch to this uh, server and from this uh, switch to this particular server okay. so uh, now we will we can give the IP addresses so I have uh, mentioned the IP address which will be uh, configuring on the PCs as well as the uh, router and the server so as we see this is the this one is the network address this is the network address so we have two networks and here we have the IP addresses so let us start from the TechX server okay. I have, this is the TechX server and this is the radius server so what we do is we just uh, click on this okay, and desktop we configure the IP address that is seen IP address is 192.168.2.3 and the gateway address is of course the address of the ser server the interface of the server which is connected at through this so this is 2.1 okay. next we configure this server so the IP address is actually 192.168.2.2 and here we have this gateway so server is configured now we go to the router so config uh, we have this 01 this is the interface 01 so we turn it on so this is the address of that sorry so this is the IP address now we come to this particular interface we turn it on it turns on so here the address is 192. Dot, uh, this 1.1 dot one. so this 1.1 one dot one, okay now we come to this particular PC 1.2 so this 1.2 dot this is configured now we come to this particular PC desktop. This is actually 1.3. So 1.3. Uh, 
and this so this is okay okay so now we have uh, configured the IP addresses now we click on this server and activate the techx service so you can see the services and here uh, this AAA we click on AAA and this we can uh, we have to turn it on this service is turned on then uh, uh, the client name let me name client name is smile then uh, client IP client IP is the address of this particular interface which is connected to the server that is 192.168.2.1 and uh, the secret we need a secret so we can type a b c d as the secret and then uh, we want to add this is a radius uh, so uh, we have to request te tech x so we do this tech x okay. so this is added now uh, regarding the user setup we can have some username and uh, password also so i can type username as ismail and password is w x y z and this is also added okay. so this is the this is what we have done for the techx server next we come to the radius server click here and then services so this is aaa services we turn it on so here also i type the same client name s m i l e smile and uh, the client ip of course the same ip 192.168.2.1 one which we have tried in the techx server now regarding the secret i just type a b c d and i add this it is asking for some username so i'll just type ismail and uh, you can use the same also w x y z okay so this has been added so this we have done for radius as well as uh, now here it is already radius server so this radius server is there now we configure the same uh, those things in the router so i click on this router cli mode okay. we need to enable it then configure terminal now uh, for this aaa we need to try this command aaa new model then uh, we need to define the techx server so TechX server host is actually the uh, the IP of the particular host. So in our case it 192.168.2.3. The key uh, for that is actually uh, ABCD. Then uh, we need to define the radius server. So radius server host is actually 192.168.2.2 and I use the same key <coughs> it is ABCD now uh, next is uh, we have to authenticate so AA authentication So a authentication so login so login for uh, we have used a login as smile then it is for group techx and the same is for group of uh, radius and also for local so this is actually uh, one uh, this entire line will uh, this is a single command okay because it is a big one so it is coming down so this is configured now we have to configure the line line vty 0 4 now again login authentication is smile and we exit that's all 
now we can check the this authentication through the PCs let's see how we can do that now in order to check that particular AA uh, authentication we can click on any of the PCs and start the telnet service okay. so I click on this PC go to the command prompt now I telnet the terminal of the server okay, where we have done the authentication so 192.168.2.1 so now it is asking the username if you remember the username which we had uh, taken was ismail and the password what w x y z of course the password will not be visible so now okay we go we go into the router. you can see we are getting the access of the router so authentication is done now this authentication is with respect to techx because we have uh, actually we have done authentication uh, we, have, we have enabled the authentication for techx radius okay so by default it will go for techx if so if now we want to check for radius we have to shut down the techx authentication so let us check it now next uh, we want to check that radius authentication so uh, on the server so first we go to this techx server and disable this service so we go to AA now see in this case a this techx service you can see it is written a client name is smile IP address is this one and service is techx so this is enabled so we, we will disable it because whenever we type the telnet command it will first go to the techx uh, service type techx if it is disabled then it will go for radius so uh, if this is enabled it will uh, authenticate this one so we need to put it off so we put it off now okay and uh, now come to uh, this particular PC okay command prompt can we type the command telnet 192.168.2.1 okay now it is asking for username so so the username is ismail okay and the password is wxyz okay now of course we got the uh, authentication of the router okay you can see uh, we got authenticated we get the access of the router okay from c to we get this router access so that's how we do the AA authentication. So that's all for this session. Thanks for watching.